Hi guys, welcome to my Eastman tour. So I'm currently in the practice room, but soon I'm gonna go out and then tour you guys kind of around the Eastman area. Mm, I'm kind of nervous, but it's a Sunday morning. No one's really in here, so. to film up here but what I just showed you is the main entrance and everyone comes from the living center into the Eastman school from here here where I'm sitting at right now is called Kaminsky and kind of like a study center rest place rest stop for people there's a bunch of really comfortable couches a lot of people do homework here any work that they need to do it's kind of awkward because i've literally never seen it this empty and then it's on the second floor this is the second floor and then that's the elevator right there eastman has five floors in total and the other thing i just showed you is like the hallway my studio is on the third floor. I think a lot of the violin professors' studios are on the third floor. I'm glad not many people are here right now. No one's here in Kaminsky. I don't really want to go in and interrupt, but this is what the door to Kilburn is. It's on the left side. I think I'm gonna insert a picture maybe over here of like what the interior looks like. And then if you go to the right side, we have our main, main performance home. It's called the Kodak Hall. This is a really huge part of Eastman. I always get lost in here, but it's absolutely beautiful. We have a bunch of stairs. I think this one leads to the balcony. So I'll show it, show you the hall from the balcony. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of like sculptures. It's very, very fancy up here. Even the water fountains are kind of fancy. And then from up here, you can kind of see a view. There's a bunch of windows. just kidding because the lights are completely off and I'm kind of scared. Those are our performance halls. There's two other things. I'm gonna show you guys Hatch and um, the Annex. So basically what the Annex is, is it's kind of attached to the Eastman main building, kind of like an, a separate section by itself. The Annex is consists of like practice rooms. It also has some classrooms for theory, oral, things like that, but mostly practice rooms. And you can book practice room and um, big instruments like percussion, harp, bass. They have their own practice rooms. In the basement is where a lot of a lot of um, people have lockers to put their instruments in, like cellists. I know. A lot of my friends have lockers so that they don't need to go to and fro from the living center with their instrument. So that can be convenient. There's nine floors, there's an elevator. I'm gonna kind of show you around and give you a look of what's inside of a practice room. Basically, this is the hallway that leads into the annex. So it's directly connected to the second floor of Eastman Main Building. You have to scan to get in. <laughs> Look around. It's kind of musty dusty. So this room usually is wide open. And this place is another printing center. And there's stairs that go down to the basement right there. Set of stairs that lead to rehearsal rooms, big rehearsal rooms. I'm in the elevator right now, going up to the fifth floor. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite rooms to practice in. And there are bathrooms on every floor, but on the fifth floor, there's a men's bathroom. On the sixth floor, there's a women's bathroom. So most of the practice rooms look like this. A lot of them have pianos in it. They're really, really small. A lot of them have a mirror. Almost none of them have air conditioners. 
And then this one has an upright piano. It's Steinway and Sons. And some of them also don't have a piano in it. Nothing too interesting, you know. Now I'm gonna show you guys Hatch. And our school is pretty small, so it's gonna be like a small tour. Everything is like walkable without too much walking. And it's a very small community. You'll run into people a lot. You'll get to know people's faces too. Perfect. Um, I'm going through Kodak right now. We have like a little lounge center right here where people like to chill. Anyway, if you keep walking, there's kind of like a lobby of Kodak, I want to say. I'm too lazy to flip the camera around every time I need to show you guys something. So I'm just rotating it. And then right across from the street is where our student living center is. So that's where all of us live. And now we're entering Hatch. Hatch is really bright. It's like an atrium. I think it is an atrium. I think it's called like the walk atrium or something. Covered with glass. This leads to Hatch Hall, which I'm not gonna show you inside because there's probably something going on in there. One of like the lecture slash concert halls, it's the smallest one here. And it's really beautiful in here. We have our orchestra rehearsals up in the East Wing. Sometimes it's a small rehearsal hall. And the prettiest thing about this is like the little design up there. See it up close and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a great place to be. I'm gonna walk back to the living center. Oh. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the tour of Eastman. I know it was a little sloppy, but I still hope that gave you like a little bit of insight to it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.